Okay, so now let's move on to question number six. A mixture of copper two carbonate and sodium chloride can be separated and recovered using which of the two solvents? Water or acid water, briefly explain. Uh, so this is kind of similar to the first question where we want to find out um, if copper two carbonate or if sodium chloride are soluble in water. Uh, so if you remember from the first question, if the carbonate ion, I'll just write this down. If the carbonate ion is not bonded with NH4 plus or a group one alkali metal, it is insoluble in water. Uh, and let's look at sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is made up of a group one alkali metal and also a chlorine ion. So this is soluble in water. If we look at our solubility rules again, So since copper two carbonate is insoluble in water and the sodium chloride is soluble in water, then therefore we can use water as a solvent to separate. Uh, so to recover, since that's kind of like the second part of the question, we will dissolve the mixture in water. And then this will make our sodium chloride the only one that is dissolved. And our copper two carbonate will be a solid. So then we can decant the copper to carbonate solid to separate. Let's see the answer from our junior tutor. Mixture can be separated by using water only. This is because of the solubility of copper two carbonate and sodium chloride in water. As per the solubility rules, all salts containing alkali metals are soluble in water, while sal salts containing the carbonate ions are insoluble in water, with some exceptions. So when water is applied to the mixture, the sodium chloride will completely ionize in the solution, leaving the copper two carbonate as the only solid particles. All there is to do is to decant the solution to separate the solids from the liquids. The solution is correct. So let's move on to question.